Hi, I'm Bea. My channel is about mixed media, art, journaling, assemblage, and anything else that sparks my interest. Hey y'all! So today we're gonna do our cover, and the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna choose maybe this one, and. Um, I do have old dictionary papers. I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit so you can actually see a little bit better. Uh, it is a German dictionary. Oh, it's actually um, it's an encyclopedia. And there is the word. I don't know whether you can see it. I can zoom it in more, but maybe I can hold it up. Uh, There's the word uh, Biene, which means bee, and that's a bee for me. So I thought I'm going to use that, just because I can. And I make sure that I um, can see it. But, because the page is very yellow, which I don't mind too much, except here where the bee is. I'm gonna add a little bit of gesso underneath, hopefully that's gonna make the embossed piece a little bit more visible. And yes, I simply use the fingers. Now let's check how that looks now. I'm certainly gonna use that inside the book at some point. Okay, so that, oh, there is a glare. I'm sorry about that. Let's see if I can lift it up. Put it a little bit, yeah, something like that. Okay, so the chesser really helps to pop a little bit more. And I still have the bee, beanie in my frame, which I like. I'm gonna use this tissue paper. Can use any tissue paper uh, and but I make, want to make sure that the text doesn't show too so again I'm gonna add um, gesso but this time I'm gonna spread it with a white with the red wipe <laughs> Now to crinkle or not to crinkle, that's the question. Okay, I have to zoom you out again. <laughs> Sorry guys. Um, I think I'm gonna crinkle it a bit. Uh oh, no, running low on matte medium. I'm going to use the matte medium to apply the tissue paper. If you don't have a tissue paper with um, dragonflies or any kind of thing, if you just have plain tissue paper, you could actually use the stamps to make your own printed tissue paper. And I only go until the border of the book. I don't bend it over if I can help. Just don't feel like I want that now. But you could also bend it over if you like. It 
did tear a little bit here, so all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add another piece. Now, I can have the feeling I want more of those dragonflies, so back a little bit. But then I'm gonna tear them. I don't want the straight edges. Also, I have to think about if I have that here. I need more here. So wherever the frame isn't it, I'm gonna add additional dragonflies. It is more or less dry, it's not completely dry, but enough for me to go over with the tissue paper. I want to rough it up a little bit. And at the same time I'm going to get rid of the overhang. Okay, well, that's way more than what I wanted. I'm gonna use uh, the gel mat for the V. It is all glued down and dry. I decided only to use the word entomology. Uh, I think it is a little bit too much here, so but I like the word entomology, so I'm gonna cut that back. And to make it pop a little bit more, I'm gonna use a white, uh, the Unisigno white pen. And I think I'm going to use some distressing colour. So to emboss them I simply press the side that has to be up Depending on the design, you have to watch which side you add the embossing ink. Grab my paper and then just very generously spread the powder. Pour the rest back in. Close before you use the heat gun. And I use my tweezers. I would normally go from upside down, but that way you won't see anything. So I'm gonna do sideways, which takes a little bit longer. Just turning it out so you can see it better. It doesn't take long, but it makes a whole new piece. I like the embossing powders. 
I'm gonna add the modeling paste at the same time I'm gonna make a little bit like a, a structure. Just to give it a little bit of texture. Now here I try also to spread a little bit on the back side. It is a white modeling paste so afterwards I'm gonna have to paint it a bit. 